What's going on YouTube, man? It's your boys, your famous in the cut, man. So check this out. Before this video start, man, I want to say I hope y'all taking care of yourself, man. I hope y'all eating healthy. Make sure you getting outside of nature. Make sure you can even meditate. I meditate personally. Like I said, practice fasting, everything, bro. And this right here, seeing this video title, go on semen retention, bro, for all y'all fellas out there. Now I know uh what I was about to say, I know. I don't be saying that in my other videos because I feel like that's more of a personal thing if you want to get into that. Like, uh, no foul, semen retention. That's, I don't really tell y'all that because that's kind of a thing, like, kind of a personal thing. Like, I don't know. I just don't get into y'all sexual life, bro. So I just tell y'all the, the down basis that's to what's going to work, which is eating healthy, meditating, praying to the most high, praying to your ancestors, dog, getting out of nature, everything, bro. Everything such like that. But a very, very important one that I practice as well is semen retention, aka no fat, bro. And I'm glad to see my personal friend, my brother, bro man TV, making a change in his life. Now, personally, me and bro man have been cool for some time, bro. Me and bro man ain't never fell off, ain't never argued, bro. It's always been love and respect, bro. We support one another when it come down to videos. But we talk, we had deep conversations. We're not some we're not people that talk every day because you know we got business to handle, we got our own life, our own journey that we own. So we're not people that talk every day. But when we do talk, it's always a, a good uh It's always a good uh a good conversation and it's always a conversation that we both grow from, you feel what I'm saying? So yeah man, he's a great dude, bro. And just to see this video, honestly, it shocked me because honestly he knew Bro, man knew I was on the spiritual journey. He knew I was waking up or whatever. But I necessarily didn't. I, I knew he was woke too. But I didn't know, like, he was tapping into what I was tapping into. Like, no five semen retention. And don't tell him what else he doing spiritual that I don't know about. So I'm going to actually call him. Uh, call him real soon, bro. So, yeah, man. Uh, hey, I'm proud of you, bro. For real. That's the title of this video. I'm proud of you, bro. For real, dog real bro and i'm glad that you're pushing this positive message like that bro because people need to know you feel what i'm saying people need to know this bro facts y'all need to know what's gonna help y'all feel better y'all need to know this bro so i'm glad out of all youtubers bro it's people bigger than him that ain't even pushing this positive message bro but the fact that he took time out to do this and to help people you lit bro you lit bro this is why you one of the few people i, I mess with heavy bro you lit bro let's get into this video though man oh yeah if y'all like what y'all see, make sure you leave a like button and subscribe to the channel, you feel what I'm saying? If y'all don't like it, then just hit the dislike and then come watch the next video to see if you like that one, bro. Let's go. This video describes my width, no fat out there. 20 days, your experience might be similar or different, but we all have a need. Yeah, that's all right, bro. Let me smash the light button real quick. I ain't gonna smash it because I might break it, but I'm gonna, you know, tap it. Ah, there we go. Had to smash the light. Had to push the light button. Ski. Let me give you one back, bro. I know I got a whole lot of new people that probably don't know what I'm doing, man. Ski. Thank you, bro. That's what y'all gotta understand, bro. You got your real life, and then you got your social media life, bro. Now, a lot of people become what they are unconsciously, which is like not really knowing what's going on. You feel what I'm saying? But good thing he woke up. Why he still is who he is, if that makes sense, bro. So yeah, bro. A lot of you got two lives, bro. You got your social media life, and you got your real life. You feel me? So that's fake. I want to let y'all go into my personal life, you know, so I'm going to let y'all know about what I have been doing for the past 200 days. So I hope that y'all don't really judge me, uh, what I'm going to tell y'all, and one thing I do recommend is that you start...
Facebook shop. Connecting people with your business just got easier. You can bridge the gap between an online store with a storefront. Sell your products right from Facebook or Instagram. Watch out of ads, bro. Get Help them out. Facebook shops. Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. It undermines the writer's message. Oh, boy, that was 20 seconds, though. <laughs> fat, but before I start anything, man, I want y'all to go ahead and smash that like button. I'm talking about going crazy, man. And, you know, I really want to inform everybody around the world that they need to go ahead and start a no fat because it 100% changed my life. And I'm going to try not to get emotional talking about this, man. So I'm sorry if my voice kind of sounds choppy or whatever it is. Like, ah, this, this is really like, really like an emotional video for me because I came a long way. And I'm proud of where I'm at right now. And I'm more than, more than happy and more than anxious to see what life is going to take me. It took a lot of me to record this video. You know, this, this is probably the third or fourth take, man. But let me go on telling y'all about what made me start no fab, okay? And let me say this. September 2019, October 2019, November 2019, and December 2019, them four months was to make it or break it for me. Let me go ahead and say basically, them four months, them was some crucial months for me. I was, just, I was a college student. I had my own apartment. I was feeling on rent. I was feeling in classes. My hair was falling out. Like, bro, getting skinny. Like, I'm already. Bro, I'm so glad. I'm so glad, bro. Because I'm going to make, make a video on my personal life, bro. Because I done been through some hell, too. And I know, I know, bro. I knew bro man around this time. I knew bro. I think I, yeah. He was in an apartment in uh, Alabama. Yeah. College, yeah. I knew him. This is around the time I was meeting him, too. So yeah, bro, I can vouch, dog. Like, tell you, bro, he he not capping, bro. He not capping. Pretty skinny as hell, but I, I had a whole lot of more weight. Like, I can go back and look at my high school videos. I was way bigger. Like, I can put some pictures and videos on the screen for y'all right now, so y'all can kind of visually see everything that I'm talking about. Cause I know I can say a lot, but I kind of want y'all to see what I'm talking about. Like, honestly, like I can put videos from high school when nigga had so much hair to now. Y'all can just see the upgrade, and y'all can tell me personally. Do I look more attractive now or, do, or, or, or did I look more attractive then? But I promise nine times out of ten, y'all gonna say now. Like, let me tell y'all boys on that. A lot of y'all, a lot of men, kids, teens, whatever, like a lot of y'all have problems because y'all belittle yourself by watching porn every time y'all feel anxious enough to just, you know. You know when you watch porn, bro, and then you go finally have sex with a female and you just not working? Like, you not functioning, bro? That's because you done programmed yourself, bro, to. You you just killed you you killed your shit. Like you just programmed yourself on some oh shit, bro. Honestly speaking, facts. Like you be yeah you did belittle yourself because you you put in your head I can't have a girl I want, so I'm gonna go fantasize and do this to another female that I desire because I never get it. So then when you when you see a female you want or you like. You automatically don't even approach it because you feel like you can't do it because you're so used to. <laughs> Damn. No, y'all buying extended ultimate edition subscription only fans. Y'all wonder why y'all be having anxiety, depression, why y'all feel like, you know, that feeling in y'all body like, I'm ugly. You feel me? Like, y'all be wondering, like, oh, I can't have her. Like, y'all see a bad girl, but like, I can't touch her. You have an yeah. anxiety, you depressed. You not motivated. The only thing you worried about is what girl you finna ask for some pictures or what only only fans you finna buy. A lot of y'all like y'all just wonder like, bro, why can't why can't I attract women? Like y'all wondering that, but y'all sit here watching porn. Like exactly. honestly, and I know because that was me. I went through college thinking there was something wrong with me, but like, Nick, like, bro, I'm in the college with all these bad girls, and like, bro, none of the bad girls want me, bro. Like that's how yeah. I was feeling. I, yeah. Honestly, I would just go to the dorm and just beat my shit off. Who was? I can say this, that, that's what really motivated me to start to know fab. Now, let me talk to y'all about the first week of what happened with me and no fab. Bro, I'm not gonna fake it. I failed. I couldn't hold it. I just couldn't, bro. It's like, literally, like, a, like I'm trying to go to sleep and I'm just closing my eyes. Imagine the baddest girls just bouncing on my shit. Like, it was so hard, <laughs> bro, and I did fail. I'm not gonna fake it. It was like the first week or two. It was around January 22nd, I would say. Around January 22nd, I start January 22nd. So it was around like three weeks. I couldn't hold it no more. I, I honestly went to sleep hard, woke up stiffed. Only the guys understand what I'm talking about, bro. Like, since I was like a team, like 11.
2012 or something. Like when I first really got into that type of things, when I started doing it, ever since then, it was like just a daily routine. It was then like I was brushing my teeth every day, but instead I'm just uh -huh. talking about like I'm just watching TV when I look down and this smoke just sticking up out the out the covers, bro. And I'm like, damn, like I can't even get enough. Get a little too detailed. Let me start talking about that. All right, so let me talk to y'all about the 30 days. First month I noticed me being more confident, me being yeah. way more dedicated with just my craft within yeah. me, being more successful within, you know, my platform. And I was going to the gym like every single day because yeah. I was so dedicated. And this yeah. was the end of February. Mind y'all, I'm going to spring break. When I tell y'all, those girls have, bro. They won't even dress. I'm sound like a simp right now. But I'm just trying to let y'all know, like, I was just I was just way more dedicated to make videos and coffee, bro. I went to... Y'all see this video right here, uh, the Migos video? That's the one I was in. Look at me, bro. Go to that video and look at me, bro. This goes to show you how, how this shit changed your life, bro. Look at me now and go to that, that rap snack challenge. I'm in that video. Go look at me. Go look at me. I remember bro man in one of my videos and uh, I, got, I, I got a video with bro man on my channel. My other channel, it's called, uh, I think it was kind of a vlog. It's a prank I did on, on somebody. And go look how big I was, bro. Bro, this job really, bro, he not, bro. It really changed your life, bro. I'm spiritual, so I do, I know fab. I change my diet. I get out of nature. I do, I do a lot more stuff too, though. I ain't gonna lie. But bro, he not lying to y'all, bro. And me and bro man talked when he hit this rock bottom right here. Uh, we we talked about this. We talked about we talked about all this, like the low numbers. And uh, when I started doing low numbers, bro, we like I said, we talked about a lot of stuff, bro. So a lot of this stuff I'm already knowing. He not lying to y'all, bro. Y'all gotta try this for real. He not lying to y'all, bro. Off them, I'm like, bro, I'm getting videos done. Come on, bro. When I tell you my video ideas, like, I was coming up with dope video ideas. I just found myself becoming way more creative. Yeah. I noticed within the 90 days, I attracted way more female. They were more attracted to my energy in a way I respected them. I have more knowledge of the female mind. Yeah. The way, the way they think. The reason they think the way they think. You yeah. feel me? So I have more patience. I have more discipline. I have more respect. But I don't know. I just feel like I keep getting off the topic. It's so much that just happened. I wish I would have just talked to y'all boys within like the 90 days of everything that's going on. But yeah. I'm already at 200. So it's like I'm just trying to cram so much in one just to let y'all know what's really going on. You feel me? But I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know what other people notice within me. Like even my friends, females, like I told y'all, after my 90 days, females find me way more attractive. And I notice a lot of people think that I'm way older than what I am. Mind you, I'm 20. That's the same thing happened to me, bro. I'm going to tell y'all, I went to Chipotle, right? And this, before I started really just changing my diet, for real, for real. I went in there for a cheat day. I got some beans and rice, but I cut that out because I'm trying to, I'm, uh, I'm damn near for alkaline now. But I had a dead ass conversation with a four, with a thirty-eight year old lady, bro. She was she was pretty. She was a melanated queen, pretty. She was a uh, I think she was a uh, I think she was a nurse in San Francisco, visiting uh, Georgia, or something, bro. Dead ass, bro. Like had a dead ass full blown like. And when you might when you nineteen, I'm nineteen. When you nineteen, most nineteen year olds don't have the confidence. Don't have the don't believe in themselves enough to have a conversation with a older woman, bro. When you want no fault, you don't give a fuck, bro. Like, you just was good, nigga. Like, how you don't, like, bro, when you change your life, you don't think about sex no more. That shit really is pointless, bro. If it comes, it comes. And you do it, but don't give your energy, don't, 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 let, don't give your energy away. Do that to a female when you're trying to have a family. At every once blue moon, bro. And that's if you love the girl, she loves you, you're in a relationship, bro. Don't give no thought your energy, your sexual energy at all. I just have to throw that out there, y'all. You feel me, you're so about to be 21, but a lot of people was thinking I'm like 24, 25, just because how mature I was. Yeah. And I look, bro, I tell y'all boys, I look. Yeah. My face was, bro, my face is clear. My beard is finally connecting, it's growing. My hair, I promise y'all, bro, like everything is just 10 times better. Like my, my business is 
Don't get me started on the crew. <laughs> Don't get me started on the crew now. And that's just like a little bit what other people notice. Like you can just see. You feel me? Like just talking to me. You can tell as a person, I better myself. Like a lot of people see me now, they're like, yo, like you look really good, man. Like even my, even my homeboys, like my close homeboys, my friends will be like, yo, like no homo shit, like you dead look handsome. Like, like you feel me? I'll be like, yeah. shit, bro, like, like on some real shit, like you know, they, they yeah. see a difference within me, the way I move, the way I handle things, even my family, like they just see a whole lot of difference in me. And everybody join me different, man. And I can say that I do want to start being celibate. So January first, twenty twenty one, I will start being celibate. I'm gonna talk about the good yeah. things and I'm gonna talk about the bad things when I noticed over time that you definitely can get off track. I had wrote it down because I, I really wanted to let y'all know what I have noticed. Okay, one, I have noticed I haven't been focused, okay? I have not been focused at all lately. And I promise y'all, depression and anxiety can overrule anything. And lately I have been, you know, had a lot of anxiety. And there's something that Chopper said. I think he said something like, they get too far ahead, it causes the anxiety. I think hey, bro, man. Bro, see, like, I'm spiritual, so, like, I know how to beat that shit. And honestly speaking, I'm saying that because I, I mean it. So when you see this video, I just want you to, uh, bro, we got to tell the number. We're going to speak anyway, but I know how to beat that shit, bro. And I'm going to tell y'all some gems right now. It's called mindfulness. Don't think in the future because it don't exist. Don't think in the past because that shit already happened. It's called mindfulness. I like it from Brian to Cut. Put pride to the side. This shit is third dimensional. Mind you, this shit, your skin, all the, you, you are a soul at the end of the day. This skin, this muscles and shit, this shit gonna stay here in the matrix. This fucking on earth. The only way out of here is your soul. So don't take nothing like depression and all that shit serious, bro. There's no reason to be stressing this shit. Cause if you close your eyes and you can see your soul, I mean, you know your higher self. You know yourself now. You have the most high within you. Your ancestors are within you. Mother Nature is with you. If you look, see your soul, and your real self, which is your soul, which is your soul, say, "This gonna happen," and you open your eyes back up to this third dimension, and you can do any fucking thing. Cause can't shit on here defeat the Most High, Mother Nature, and your real self, your soul. The most high within you. You close your eyes and you say, and you manifest, bro. And you say anything. When, you, when your real self, which is your soul, not this, not your mind and shit. When your real soul say, this gonna happen. And you control that, right? You, you, you can say, shit, I'm gonna get a car. Gonna happen. If you believe, Y'all think I, this it sound like bullshit, huh? I know it might sound like, like, oh, everybody say that. Motherfucker, I, I did it. On me, I did it. I do it every day. You think this fucking third dimension can handle you in the most high? No? The fuck? No? You close your eyes and you, and you gotta tap in now. Meditation, take care of yourself. You gotta do some work to tap into your real self. You gotta find yourself. That's the whole purpose of this third dimensional human life is to find yourself because you are a soul. You just experience it being a human and then you're gonna ascend and be, be more than this. So you gotta find yourself. You repeat in this life because you didn't do something good in the past life. You have to find yourself. Once you find yourself, this life shit gonna be, okay, What this shit easy, it's too easy now. There you go, bro. Thank me later, bro. I think he said it in a song or a tweet. And I'm so used to not masturbating now to the fact that it, it, it's just normal to me now. Like, I can literally sit here and watch porn and not even worry about it. Like, yeah. I won't even be trip off. I see so many girls. Like, I told you, I was doing all the fans videos. This stuff don't even arouse me, man. It's just, you feel me? Like, I, I just came, my mind is on a higher level right now. Higher frequency, my nigga. I feel like that I'm losing focus, so I feel like I gotta step it up a notch, man. It seems like, like, I, like I told you, I'm so used to not masturbating now. I don't even get that urge no more to mm -hmm. I don't even think about it. So, like, now I'm just sitting here laying down, not doing nothing. But I apologize, you know, if I kind of was all over the place, bro. I'm not really used to telling stories, bro. I hope that a lot of y'all can really understand and, like, read and comprehend, like, what I'm actually trying to, you know, tell y'all. And I hope that I motivated a lot of y'all, man. I've been trying to, you know, let my friends know. I don't want y'all to think I'm just talking, but I promise y'all, this has changed my life. All right, of course, bro. I, I have yeah. my days here and I'm human, you feel me? Like, having anxiety problems and, you know, but I'm only human, you feel me? Like, I feel like that I'm on this earth to fulfill a purpose for a reason. And I feel like, you know, 
I have a big platform and I can use it to educate a lot of y'all. Thank you. A lot of y'all about things yeah. that have helped me grow to where I'm yeah. in the position I am now. So I'm not going to say, you know, that it's going to happen to you because everybody's journey different. You feel me? That's just like, I can't tell you how to be successful. You feel me? Everybody's success is different. So I can't mm -hmm. really tell you the benefits that you will have. You will know the benefits that you will have. Now yeah. I got used to it now. So I really don't feel it as much as I did when I first started it. So now I'm really going to start uh, celibacy around January 2021. And let's see how this goes. I hope uh, I informed a lot of y'all in this video, man. And I hope that y'all enjoyed it. And you know. Alright, so pretty much you wrapping the video up. Alright, y'all. First off, bro, man. Proud of you, dog. 100%. I'm gonna be dropping more gems on this channel, y'all. Cause I, I done tapped into like, I'm, I'm real, you know what I mean? So, bro, proud of you, dog. Keep it up. So glad that you put this on your platform, bro. You got a good platform. A lot of these kids and a lot of these people that follow you, you can leave a good legacy on them and change their life. And it's like, you know, the whole world becoming a better place. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I don't make the music I make no more. That's why, cause it's bullshit, bro. The shit I was rapping about, Everybody else gonna rap rapping about we all rap about the same shit And then when somebody actually go do that shit in the real world you looking like damn I I, I I promoted that Yeah, man, so it's your boys your fans in the cup y'all wonder what I was drinking I am drinking some raspberry leaf tea. It is actually herbal you feel what I'm saying uh, I'm Finna go eat honestly. I'm about to go eat some uh, all green alkaline foods, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But it's your boys, your fans in the cut, man. Love y'all. Thank y'all for all the support. Make sure you subscribe to the new channel if you uh if you want, bro. If you wanna, if you if this what you want, bro, it's gonna be lit over here. Like I said, man, it's gonna be real lit over here, y'all. Y'all gonna learn a lot of shit over here. Y'all gonna learn a lot of shit over here, bro. So if you wanna join the team, man, just subscribe. If you like this video, leave a like. If you did, then just dislike it. Come back to the next video. See if you like that one. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Eat healthy. Take care of yourself. Get out of nature. Meditate. Pray to the most high. Respect your ancestors. Ancestors. Respect Mother Nature. I'm out.